My name is Danielle. Welcome to another episode of Board Game Bakes. This is a fun show where we make board game themed pieces and components in edible form. This week we're going to focus on Wingspan by Stonemeyer Games. This is a competitive engine building game with a lot of really pretty bird cards that you use to build up your board. There's also a really cool birdhouse that you use to randomize what resources that are available. And when I was playing the game, I thought we should definitely make that. So we're going to make a birdhouse out of pumpkin shortbread because it's also fall. Let's get started. To make double the recipe, you're going to need a half a cup of pumpkin puree, two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup or two sticks of salted butter, one half cup powdered sugar plus four tablespoons, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a half teaspoon of clove, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. To begin, I want to start by mixing together all of our dry ingredients in a bowl. This recipe doesn't actually need you to use a mixer, so I'm just going to use this bowl. To start, we're going to add our flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, and even our powdered sugar. Now we're just going to give it a quick whisk. Next we're actually going to try and squeeze all of the liquid out of the pumpkin. So I'm just going to put it onto a double folded paper towel. I'm going to fold it over and squish. You can use a paper towel or you can use a clean towel to do this too. Next step is that we want to brown our butter. To do this we're going to stir it until it's melted and let it boil a little bit past until you start seeing some browns. I've only done this once before so that's why I have my technical window. Now most of the butter is all melted so we want to let it Boil a little until it starts turning brown. And when it turns brown, you want to get off the heat so this way it stops cooking. And when you're doing this, you're trying to get the milk solids to brown. It's kind of like a little bit. A lot easier to do this though in a white pan. The last time I tried doing it was in a black pan and that was a little hard to see. It also starts smelling nutty when you get close. I think I'm starting to smell a little. And if you look, you can start seeing some solids forming. It's turning brown, so I'm going to take it off the heat. And I'm going to add my pumpkin. And it's going to piss up. I'm going to add it in. This way it stops cooking. I don't think I see any burnt, so that's a good thing. Add my vanilla too. And give it a good mix. This is the shortbread, so it's mainly flour, butter, and sugar. I'm going to roll the dough out between two pieces of parchment paper and put it in the fridge so it's time to cool down and set a little bit before I roll out my pieces. After your dough has a chance to chill in the fridge, I'm going to roll it out a little bit more until it's a desired a quarter of an inch thickness, then lay your template pieces. A link we found below to where you can find template cutouts. Um, lay them onto the dough and you want to cut those out. You probably can't fit all of them the first time, so you want to cut out those pieces. And then you can roll it out again and repeat until you have all the different components. Bake the cookies at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. You may want to bake them slightly longer than usual so that this way they're sturdy enough to stand up. When they're done, take them out and let them cool completely on the tray. The first step of making your decorations is to use some brown food gel to dye some white fondant. Um, you want to roll it out. I left it with a slightly marbled consistency so it looked more like wood. I also create a little bit of brownish red color so this way I can use for the top of the roof. Once I had the colors done, I rolled them both out. I cut out roof tiles using the brown color. and. A long rectangle strip to go over the tip of the roof with the red one. I also had some additional green fondant that was already in storage and I used this to break off little bits and pieces to stick onto the birdhouse to give it a more outside look. Next I used my edible food marker to draw lines on the cookies representing the different wood pieces in the birdhouse. Next I used royal icing to put the roof tiles onto the roof and put the moss pieces onto the house. I then used this fun new edible food paint that I bought to add some more moss details and aging to the wood for the birdhouse. It's finally time to put our birdhouse together. You may notice that in this clip I put the icing on top of the cookie. For best results you actually should put it on the edge. I changed it later and this will give you room to fit the entire insert of the birdhouse in. Line up the inserts inside the birdhouse along the edges. It should fit perfectly on top of the cookie.
when I put together, I did the face component first and the birdhouse actual house component second. I made sure that they were both completely dry before trying to assemble the whole thing. I also used a little extra cookie bits as support just to make sure I didn't have to worry about it falling over. Once the birdhouse was put together, I used a green edible marker to help blend in some of the white foil icing and some of the moss pieces. Voila! Our birdhouse is complete and I think it looks really cute. Thanks for watching another episode of Board Game Bakes. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know if there's any games that you'd like to see future on the show. I've gotten a few suggestions and just please keep them coming. Keep playing games and keep them sweet. I'm really excited to try this. I'm a slow chewer. So good. I love pumpkin everything. I'm one of those people. Bye.